So let's take a look at a real-world example of employing parallel nodes. I'm beginning with a clip that's ungraded, and let's imagine the clients have asked for a nice contrasted cold look. And within a couple of minutes, I'm able to throw it on and send it back to them. The feedback I get back might sound like, yes, we're really happy with the contrast saturation and overall color scheme. One thing we're not happy with is how much we've lost the color in our actor's face. So he looks quite dull and dead and blue. And also overall the image is starting to look a bit monochromatic. So let's bring some colors in by warming up the window in the restaurant on the left. Now that we know how to employ qualifiers and power windows, we know that we can easily isolate these two elements. But do we place them after or before this heavy grade node? I'll give it a name. If we place them before, then it will almost be pointless because this blue will still be applied and override everything. If we place them after, then we're applying a qualifier or a grade on top of already very heavily graded footage. You have to think of it almost like a destructive process. We're no longer working with the original source material. So if I was to make a serial node right now and try to isolate my actor's face, turn on highlight and go into qualifier. See, that's pretty terrible. Not so much because of all this other stuff, because that's easy to cut out with a power window, but because there's stuff very close to his face that's being kept. If we hadn't applied this blue grade, there's no way this wall would have been included in the selection. I mean, look how different it actually is to his face in the original footage. So this is a limitation of using serial nodes, and this is why we want to employ parallel and layer mixers. I am going to get rid of this node, and first of all, I'm going to apply a serial node before the blue primary grade. So I've got an RGB output to send out. And then select the blue primary, I'm going to Alt-P to drop that parallel node and to introduce a new corrector node in between them. So now when I make a selection for his skin color, look at that. That is so much cleaner. I don't have to worry about the wall anymore. And then of course use the matte finesse to get that a bit cleaner. Look at that. His whole face just came back. Beautiful. And then I'll go into the qualifier and just use a window to isolate him. And that is a much, much better selection than what I had before. I'm going to turn off the highlight now. And it's had no effect because with parallel nodes, they're already mixing into each other. But what I could do is now go into the wheels and maybe introduce a bit of orange or a bit of magenta. There we go, get a bit of natural skin tone back, maybe raise the saturation to reintroduce some of that original color. Not too much, I don't want to make it pop out, but I also don't want him to look frostbitten either. So something like this is super subtle, but quite effective as well, because it draws the eye back to him. Could even maybe introduce a bit of contrast and brightness, just to kind of really pop him out. So now this looks like a more natural environment and not just a lazy preset grade. Same thing can be done for the window. I can right click on the parallel, add another input, and then select my, I'll just call this the original, and Alt S to create a serial node. Make sure that the connections make sense. Right now it thinks that I want to run it from the second to the first, and I actually want to run it from the fifth to the parallel input and then also connect the original output to the blue primary. And then drop in my square here, size it up. And again, this is already being blended in, so I can just start working on the colors. <laughs> that might be a bit much, uh, but I can always just go into my key output and lessen the effect of this note so it's not as extreme. And then we have a nice single output coming out of the parallel node, which means that I can drop another serial and then just continue working with my footage as a single node. I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you next time.